So for today's lesson, we are exploring the function of an electric motor in a fan. So if we have one of these sitting at home, you'll be wondering how does this work? So it has something to do with the principle of using electrical energy and converting it into mechanical or movement, as you can see right here. So the fan blade is currently moving. But how does that work? So it involves what we call the electromagnetism. It uses both electricity and the magnetic field. And because of the involvement of both electricity and magnetic field, it actually allows the rotor, which is connected to the fan blade itself, to move. So you have come across what we call the right hand rules. Um, but in general, what it says and what it tells the, the fan what to do in moving a particular direction, either it's in clockwise or anti-clockwise. And that has something to do with the magnetic field, the flow of the current, and also the force that is allowing the blade to move. So it's quite a complicated or complex um, topic that we are exploring right here. But in general, what we know is that electromagnetism plays a very big and fundamental role in the movement of blades, as you can see right here in the fan. And that is something that you need to be able to understand. So the general takeaway of what we have done today is that electric motor converts electric energy into mechanical movement as you can see right here and that involves electromagnetism using the right hand rule or the right hand slap you have the current the magnetic field and the force